Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I am your host, Chris Chanifel, and I am now joined by 2014 NFL Draft prospect, linebacker out of Emporia State, Jordan Sanders. Thanks for joining the show, Jordan. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm doing good. I really appreciate you being on the show today. Hey man, the pleasure is all mine, and uh, we're going to be talking about your football career. And I just want to, uh, you know, start off by mentioning coming out of Warner Robins High School in Georgia, you were originally committed to North Carolina Central University, but due to grades, you transferred to Butler Community College and redshirted your first year there, and ended up transferring to Coffeyville uh, Community College. But you you, you weren't uh, able to play there due to a glitch in the computer system, I believe. Uh, so to say to so so to say that you've had a hell of a journey to get to where you're at right now I think is an understatement Jordan uh, can you just tell us how this opportunity to attend Emporia State came up well I actually just you know I was one of the co- JUCO coaches at Coffeeville kind of mentioned it to me and you know and I looked into it and, and I saw they had a great academic school and you know eventually I ended up talking to the coaches you know I had other schools that, that I was talking to where I ended up talking to the coaches and the coaching staff was great you know, Coach Higgins, he, you know, that, that was a, he was a great guy, you know, and, and I really appreciated him really reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity. So it just, it just really felt like it was just best, the best situation for me at that time. And, you know, and I went with it. And it turned out to be perfect. Now, it almost seemed like as if uh, playing football wasn't meant to be, you know, as you were shot down so many times. How were you able to stay hungry and just stay positive, thinking that eventually you will be on the football field? You know, really, my, my family, they really helped me out there. They, you know, it was always there for me when I made decisions, you know, with, with every move I made, you know, they were there for me when I went to each school. And, you know, they, they really kept me up. But, you know, I'm the type of guy, you know, that, that, that I just I work hard and, and I got a positive mindset. And, and I'm not, I keep working and keep grinding and just keep the faith in God and just trust on my ability that, that, I, that I'm going to get the shot to play. Your first year at Emporia State, you were a practice player, and it was in your second year where you were finally able to get back onto the field and play some football. Now, this was back in 2011, so it's been a while since your last football game. Uh, how excited were you to finally get back onto the field and make some plays for the Emporia State Hornets? Yeah, I was really beyond excited. You know, it, it was really a good opportunity for me, a new chapter in my life, and, and you know, just I was honored. You know, just to be able to play on the team, and, you know, after everything that I went through and, you know, just working hard and just grinding, you know, it was really honoring. And, you know, I was just really excited to just be back out there. It's something I love. It's my passion. You know, it meant everything to me mm-hmm. to be out there. Now, Jordan, uh, you were only playing special teams during that 2011 season until uh, week four when the team decided to switch some things up and name you the starting linebacker. Uh, what was your reaction li- like when you received that news? Again, I was really, you know, honored, but, you know, you know, I got faith in my ability, you know, and I was just waiting on my opportunity, you know. I, you know, I put in a lot of work to, to get to that point, and, and when I got my call, you know, I was excited, you know. I was honored, you know, I've been there a whole year, and, you know, I earned the respect of the players, and, and, and they trusted me as a leader to step up and play, you know, and, and I just wanted to get out there and to show everybody that, that, that they could stay on my back, and, you know, and I'm honored for it. And you finished, I'm really excited. You, and Jordan, you finished that first season with the Hornets with 65 tackles and a forced fumble. Now, how, how did you approach the 2012 season? Did you know that you would remain the team's starting linebacker? Uh, I, go into, I go into each season with the mindset uh, of winning, you know, as a champion mindset. You know, um, I, I, I work hard in the off season, even us as a team, we, we keep that mindset to keep pushing and keep working hard. So, you know, I go into the off season just working really hard and, you know, just hoping that everything will work out for the best. So at the time, I did not know for sure if I would have been a starting linebacker, but in my mindset, I knew I was because of the work that I was going to put in. In 2012, you had a great year as you were second on the team in tackles with 97, along with seven tackles for loss and two sacks. Uh, after that very impressive season, Jordan, what, what were your expectations for this past season, your final college football season? My expectation, you know, was really high. You know, like you said, especially it being my senior year, you know, and as a team, you know, we had high expectations for ourselves. We, you know, we we go through spring and we go through summer with each other, sweating and putting in the work. 
and, and we got faith in each other, so that expectation is very high, you know. The only thing on our mind is championships, and, and, that, and that's, that's where we kept it settled this whole season, just kind of winning championship. This past season, you, Jordan, were able to record 90 tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. Now, you helped lead the Emporia State Hornets to a 9-2 and record, uh, in including a tough loss in the playoffs. Uh, what would you say about you know the season you and your team just finished? It, it's, it, it was quite a good one, I gotta say. Now, although you guys didn't you know end the way you wanted to, like you said, you, you, you're always fighting for a championship. Uh, you can't call this season a failure, can you? You know, sir, I, I, I wouldn't call it a failure at all because, uh, it, you know, especially the past two years that I've been that important and we've done something that, you know, hasn't been done for the football program for a long time, you know. The year before, we were 10-2, this year we were 9-2, and, and we finally knocked down that door to get in the playoffs. So, um, you know, pretty much it's just a building stone for the program and just open up doors and, you know, just seeing the guys and the talent we got out there. And the way we worked hard all, all year, and I, I wouldn't say it was a failure at all. Throughout the ups and downs, how, Jordan, how would you describe your overall college experience? Uh, throughout everything, you know, I, I still say it's all the best one because, you know, I know there's people out there that, that don't have the opportunity to even go to school, let alone play, play college football or, or college sport. So, you know, I, I don't really look at it in a negative way, I look at it in a positive way, my whole college experience, you know, although, you know, I, I took a different path than, you know, most would have wanted to do, but, you know, it's all a blessing, and, you know, I had a great college career, you know, especially at Emporia State. Chris Schaffel talking with 2014 NFL draft prospect out of Emporia State linebacker Jordan Sanders, and Jordan, any chance you've been able to talk with any scouts, and if so, what are they saying about you? Uh, I talked to uh, several scouts, but I pretty much just left it with my agent to take care of everything. That way I can really just focus on training, making sure I'm, I'm getting myself prepared to, to showcase myself. Uh, you know, I don't really, uh, I haven't really talked to any lately, but, you know, I'm just really keeping my mind focused on training and, and being prepared and letting my agent just handle all that. All right, Jordan, just a few more questions, then I'll let you go. Once again, I really do appreciate your time here on the CS Podcast. And uh, uh, when did you find out that the NFL can not only be a dream, but it could become a reality? Um, you know, honestly, I would say probably when I first started playing football. You know, it was just it was something that was just meant for me. And, you know, I always grew up watching the NFL and watching the, the older guys play. And I always knew that that's something that I wanted to do. And when I played it, it just seemed like it was perfect for me. So then going into college, you know, even you know, the ups and downs, when I finally got on the field, you know, just working hard and being out there, you know, I, I always keep faith that, that it's possible for me. So, you know, I, I just, it's always been possible in my mind to me. If you could compare yourself to a, uh, a linebacker currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that would be and why? Uh, Patrick Willis, and I would probably say because of how physical he plays. You know, he's a very physical and smart linebacker. And not only that, he can play sideline to sideline. I think I take pride in myself getting to the ball and being very physical when I get there. Hey, man, arguably the best linebacker in the NFL. You can't go wrong with that. You always want to compare yourself to the best, right? Yes, sir, always. All right, let's say for whatever reason, man, there's an NFL general manager out there listening to this very interview. Why should he want Jordan Sanders, linebacker of Emporia State, on his team? Um, I, I would really say because you can, you can depend upon me, you know, to, to make plays and not only that, to be a good team player, you know. I'm all about my, my teammates and and doing what we need to do as a team to be successful. And, and, you know, I feel like I can master both the physical and mental game of football. You know, most of all, my soul is into this game. My mind, my body, and my soul, I feel like I got the full package. You want the opportunity, and we keep making sure I grind and, and work hard to make sure that happens. So it sounds like you know that you have to love this game in order to go up to the next level, right? Most definitely, you have to love this game. You know, it's a lot of work that that's put into it. You know, and you know, like they say, it's not for everybody. You know, but you know, it's it's, it's for me. You know, the the, the way that I, but the work that I put in to this, you know, it, it's just not for everybody. You have to really love this game. And really you, love you game. certainly got that right. Uh, now, Jordan, how excited are you for not only your pro day to take place, but the NFL Combine, the NFL Draft? I, I gotta think all of this is like a dream come true. How, how's this experience treating you so far? 
Uh, it's a great experience, you know. I'm just really taking it day by day, you know, making sure I'm prepared and, and you know, I'm ready to go and be able to showcase my abilities to, to everybody that's going to be there because, you know, it's, like you said, it's, a, it's an opportunity and dream come true that, you know, a lot of people wish they could have, and I want to make sure I take full advantage of my opportunity. Jordan, I know you're working out a lot, and uh, like you said just before this interview, uh, you know, you said after this interview you're going to be uh, going out, starting training for the day. Uh, can you just give us an update on how training's going? Training's been going good, you know. I actually, you know, I've been training for a couple months now, you know, ever since we uh, finished the playoffs. I've been training ever since then, and, you know, now school started. I'm, uh, I'm planning on graduating in May, so I got my school schedule now. So I've been working out later on the day now, but it's just, you know, just for something that I have to change, but the grind doesn't stop. It doesn't matter if it's more than that time, you know. But the training is going great right now. I'm making progress. Hey, man, you, you sound determined. I love what I see when I turn on your highlight film, man. And I got to say, thank you so much for joining this show. I really do appreciate it. Uh, now, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to myself and our listeners? I would just like to, uh, you know, tell you thank you, and I appreciate the opportunity to be on the show, and uh, I appreciate everybody that's out there supporting me, and I'll uh, look out for me soon. Hey, Jordan, thank you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best, and uh, hopefully we keep in touch, all right, man? Yes, sir. I appreciate it, Chris. All right, take care.